You don't really care about no one star You don't really care how they move Baby girl, yeah, you know I want ya Take it to the stars, to the moon You don't really care about the thing What they want, say I want to You don't really care about nobody else Z, the drop out was good. Yeah. Hey, I ain't know you have a British accent, man. Why you ain't tell me that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from Britain, man. Yeah, from this the UK. Some British shit? What time is it over there? I didn't know this was some British shit, bro. I would have got some tea and crumpets. I would have prepared some old shit. It's a Philly UK connection. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't sound British. Where are you streaming from? Uh, I'm from Philly. So you from the trenches. Oh, okay. So you're not that far from me. This is some crazy shit right here. Why? Wow, this is this this tournament done brought me to the UK. All right, bless, yeah, bless. man. No, Free Palestine while we had it. Yeah, yeah, facts. Free Palestine. Well, yeah, welcome to the TMI podcast. Yes, yeah, so how you feeling now you're in these tournament? How you feeling, my guy? I feel good. I'm getting ready for round two, you know what I mean? Just mm. up in these round two but Yeah, mm. round one's a pack already. I'm getting ready for round two. Mm. Just prepping these bars. Um, I like it. It's some new shit. I've never really done no shit like this. Like, I've done shit where I've been, like, uh, the Crucible and, like, on events, like Summer Madness, Big Stage. But I've never been in, like, a tournament where... Even the drawing was mad, mad cool. I think people seen in the YouTube videos, it was like a, like cards that they drew. But yeah, it, it's fun. Like I, I told them, they asked me what I'm gonna do with ten thousand dollars. I said I'm gonna buy twenty thousand bags of chips. So it's it's exciting. You know what I mean? <laughs> <coughs> you're funny. You're funny. You're what funny. time is it in the UK right now? Um, it is seven thirty-three p.m. Oh, shit. This is crazy. Yeah, man, uh, facts, facts. So if you don't mind me asking, where are you from? Um, I'm from I'm from uh, Queens, New York, born and raised. Nice. Uh, AQ, you know what I mean? Uh, Free Palestine. And nice. that, that's really it. Nice. That money Free drink Palestine. water, that was the movement. Uh, you know, DNA also from Queens. That's how we linked up and really got to uh, start talking and shit. Right. And, yeah, just... That's what it's been. I want to see more events in Queens. They got some fire events in Harlem and shit. I would right. love to see an event happen in Queens because it's fire out here. But soon, soon, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, facts. So how long have you been battling for? Um, I think like, damn, I'll be trying to, I smoke a lot. So I'm trying to, where's the streaming? Can I smoke on this? Or yeah, yeah, like, go ahead, go ahead. Go oh, okay, I'm smoking. I was like wondering the limitations of this. Shit. Nah, go ahead, man. You're good. Man. Um, go so I, I've probably been battling like three years. I started, I was doing music and battling a long time ago under a different name on different platforms. People have found it by now. I said in interviews. Nice. Um, and then during COVID, I uh, started up again because Hollow the Don had uh, like a online Instagram tournament. Right. And my boy who actually passed now, rest in peace to Garrett, he put me on the battle rap through Hollow the Don. So I was like, all right, for that, I'm going to do right. this tournament. I entered and I ended up winning that. I got some money. I battled Hollow. We got a three round battle that's on YouTube. Right. And uh, from that, I was able to get on I Battle. DNA saw me battle Don Marino. <laughs> And that happened from there, and the rest just kind of unfolded, led to the Jesus thing and all that. Right, right, right. So what or who inspired you to start battle rapping? You say you've been rap battle rapping for three years, so um, what inspired Yeah, you? longer than that, honestly. It's just this run that I've been in, like, way longer than that. But the current run that I'm on is, is like, under the job about three years. But, um, like, I, I've named my fears before. It's, like, Hollow. These are the people who like got me started. DNA, Clips, uh, Mook, Arsenal. Like I, I really love like T Top. Those are the people I would watch. Like Pat Stay. Right. Uh, yeah, those are the people I would really like. I remember when Hollow and Clips first happened. It was like mind shattering. You know what I mean? And then today, like the people that I watch that like keep me motivated and keep me inspired, like. Honestly, a lot of my people, like in the 30s, uh, Knox, uh, obviously the same people, but Knox, Chunk, uh, Death the Kid, Appa, right. Low Supreme. Uh, and then, you know, like Sheed Happens, 
Your Honor, I think is crazy fire. Yeah, he's fire. I fuck with old solo. I fuck with people who just do different shit. But yeah, there's a, there's a lot of talented battle rappers out there today. Right, right, right. That's lit. That's lit. So, what platforms have you battled on then in your career? Oh shit, man! I that's crazy that you at this some British shit. I heard you guys are intuitive. I was literally thinking about this the other day. Um, <laughs> Uh, I battle, so I battle URL. Right. Um, I've been on, I did a main event on Gates of the Garden, uh, Bar You to Death. Uh, yeah, so I've got the trenches coming up. I've been on a lot of like just, you know, leagues that are still getting their footing too. Like I came, I think it was Universal Bar Leagues where I was in Illinois. Right. Um, damn, I know I'm missing some too. You know what I mean? Right. I've been on some cards that it's like the league only existed for that card and they ain't even do another card yet. So yeah, we'll see what happens. But those are the ones I remember off the off the top of my head. Yeah, yeah. So so in your opinion, can um or from your resume, can you give us your biggest battles in your opinion? My biggest battles? Yeah, um, like with the most well, higher tier battles. <laughs> um, I mean it's the flare soul just because that shit was on. Right. Summer Madness, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I think when I battled Don Marino on I Battle, that was like the one that kind of like I had a little breakthrough performance and it got me to the next level. Um, and honestly, I think this, if I'm going to put battles up there, I think this next battle with OG Capri is one of my biggest battles and one of the ones that's going to be defining. It's a little tournament. Right. I haven't really done anything in a while. Like, I was on Angry Fan, and they were wondering, like, what I was going to do, you know? So yeah. I think this next one is going to be uh, a big battle and pretty important. Yeah, yeah. So, you see, yeah, let's get on the topic of White Jesus, because that's where I first came across you, right? Praise, praise, praise. But then when I saw you in the tournament, <laughs> I didn't notice to say, say oh, that's White Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So to me, yeah, yeah, yeah. you do look different from being white Jesus to being Z, but how <laughs> did that even come about? It's the glasses too, because I be taking them off when I battle sometimes. The All glasses right. is just kind of how I, you know, I look way more like Jesus when I take them shits off. <laughs> but it just, yeah. it's just how I feel in the moment. Some battles I have them on and, and some I don't, but that shit just came about like, I think I even did an interview on 15 Minutes of Fame where we said it very organically, like, it was just chilling. It was kind of almost like one of those moments where you have like a eureka moment. You're like, oh shit, you know what I mean? Like, like you ain't thought you had no bud left. He was like, oh shit, I got some in the drawer over there. We nice. was chilling and motherfuckers like, you look like Jesus, huh? Oh shit, you look like Jesus. And then it That's literally the just unfolded. I, I right. it. it was like the day before the battle. Right. And yeah, it just kind of happened. Um, have you ever watched the show The Walking Dead? Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you ever think about using that character, Jesus, in any of your bars? Because that would be fire. No, but that motherfucker is fire. That nigga is he, fucking hot. He's way cooler than me, though. He does, like, backflips and shit. Maybe I got to start doing some of that. I yeah, think I, th I think though. you should incorporate that into some bars, bro. We just about to get, in, we, we just about to get into that. We just about to get into that. Oh, I got a call real quick. That's it's all right. To, it's all right. It it's all right. Now we we we're just gonna get into that shortly. Still, definitely gonna get into that. Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, are you a wrestling? Okay. He, he dropped out. One sec. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Capri called me. He trying to sabotage the battle. I see. Oh, okay. <laughs> he called me. He tried to sabotage <laughs> the shit. You see what's happening? I see. You see yeah. how they try to do the drop? But that, 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 not going to work. Fair play to him. That that's it's promo not, right there. That's that was mind a good games. one. I'm gonna call yeah. him during all of his interviews now. Yeah, right. that's mind games. Yeah. I might I might pull up. Yeah, no fact. So yeah, so are you a wrestling fan? Because when I did um tune into the DNA wrestling event and I saw you do the Undertaker sit up and the H at the Shawn Michaels kick up. That... Yeah, bro, I went to I went to wrestling school. Like, okay. I, like I was I was that was kind of like a route I was going. It was right. Hey, those people work very hard because it was too much for me. That's why I stopped. But huge right. wrestling fan. Um yeah. that's why I mean DNA like even started the podcast. It's crazy to think like, like Mick Foley was my dream guest. We were able to interview him within the first year. Yes. Yeah, um, 
He one of my favorites. Yeah, when I, I mean, Foley, like, Shawn I like my Cactus of... Jack. You said what? I said, I said, I, Mick, uh, I like Cactus Jack better than Mick Foley. Oh, yeah. See, I'm Cactus Jack, so it worked out perfectly. You know, Mankind was the one for me. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I I love that shit, man. And I think it, I think it really is very similar to battle rap. So it's cool to get to talk about it and shit. Um, yeah, yeah, we got some crazy shit with the with the podcast unfolding. So yeah, so how, well, how was that interview for you anyway, with Mick Foley? Because that's a legend. We all know, you know what I mean. So how? how oh was that man, that shit was fine. The, the, uh, something I always remember is that I was um I just kept being like, yo, this is my dream interview to Mick Foley. Right. And like I didn't realize, I just kept saying it over and over until he was like, "Yeah, nah, I know you told me like mad times." I was like, "Oh my bad, man," but it was such a a, a cool <laughs> moment. He's a cool motherfucker for real. He's right. a he's cool man. It's a cool moment. Uh, okay, and did you see uh, his body? Must have looked like you must have seen the the bust in his on his body. Body, if you know what I mean, for all the stuff he put his body through, you must have seen the damage in his body. If you know what I'm saying. I like, mean, yeah, like he. He didn't stand the whole time. Right, you know what I mean, so right. Like, I mean, it's Mick Foley though. He talks a little bit about it in the interview, like the, the shit he does, man. Like respect him. He can he can stand whatever he wants, man. Like right. that that's the goat. In my eyes, that's the goat because he's like he's not your traditional looking wrestler, but he he'll put his body on the line. So right. Matter of fact, I might jump off a cage this next battle. OG Capri can't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> OG Capri can't do nothing with that. I might throw him off. Bro, the he it can't would be, do nothing with that. It, I like that. I it like would be, that. It would be legendary if you'd been able to hit someone with a chop. If you're able to chop someone, <laughs> I, might, I might throw a motherfucker off a cage in the next battle. That's a really good one. That'd be lit. That'd be lit. I like that. I like that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we got the Champions Tournament going down the 17th of February. So, yeah, how, how many rounds is it? It's three. Oh, you mean like the whole tournament? No, no, the actual. Oh, the yeah. yeah, the battle is the battle is three rounds. It's like mm -hmm. a like an average battle, you know, three rounds. Um, I'm gonna have minutes? about twelve rounds prepared. Okay. I'm gonna, see, I'm gonna see how hard he's going, and then I'll like, y'all switch out. You know what I mean? I'll be like, I might need to use round nine. I might might just be a round one type thing. Right, right. right. Okay, so happens. I see. I see your strategy then. So it's like you've already got all your rounds ready. No, but... no, no. Okay. No. I'm going to write them. The battle's February 17th. So probably like February 16th. I'll write like 12 rounds. Right. And then I'll have them ready the day of. That way they fresh and new. You know what I mean? Because right. you don't know. Some shit might happen February 15th. You need to write the bar February Yeah. 15th. We love yeah. current yeah. February bars. 17th. Right, right. So we're okay. going to be ready for him. Mm. He said his rounds is done already. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of worried about that. So you don't it, even know I got the inside track. I got a spy. They already told me his rounds. I'm sure it was sounding fire, though. I'm scared. Mm, Whoever snitches, stop snitching. We'll respect that. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm playing. I heard it. <laughs> so, what, so, quick question at you, Sidebar. So, would we ever see Jesus again? Because I would like to see Jesus again. So, um, maybe. maybe. I, I mean, Jesus came out again in the jazz battle. It's really, it's really beyond my saying. I can't even say that, bro. It's beyond okay. even, it's beyond even my knowledge. Like the stars have to align. Okay. I'm, the I'm only honest, way the first... I want to see white Jesus again is if he battling black Jesus. <laughs> hey, I, hey, listen, I, I'll say, I'll say that. The only thing I'll say on that is that was very much in the works and then mm. got dropped. But that was in the works pretty much immediately. See, great minds think happen. alike. This is what I do. Yeah, it was it was definitely supposed to happen, and then it got dropped. But I think the first time it happened, even for me, like it was so organic and it was just so fun, and it was such a moment that like it, it's almost like I, I kind of like leaving it there. Right. But at the same time, like there's always another blunt to smoke, and I'm not gonna say no if they pass the blunt. So. <laughs> I hear you know. that. So what is the prize for the tournament? You say, is it 10K, did you say? It's 10K. And uh, so I think they dropped the, the footage already in the match meetups, but Easy basically said winner gets 10K. Right. And they are getting offered a contract from the trenches. 
there's a lot of people who uh have already been on the trenches i'm kind of like an outsider coming in. this is my first time there You're right but um yeah there's a lot of hunger in the room like during that drawing there's a lot of hunger in that room motherfuckers wasn't even talking wasn't smiling it was like oh Right. So it's, it's going to be rough. And there's a lot of, yo, it just so happened that, I don't know if y'all saw the matchups, but it just so happens that round one has some of the craziest fucking matchups. It does. The Muwa yeah. and Prezi, I'm not yeah. happy to see Muwa that. Muwa versus no. Prezi could like, if trenches or we go hard, they would throw a, a card. That might be the main event like, right, outside right. in the tournament. And then Dre Majesty versus Dre, uh, Jay Moore. I think yeah. maybe people don't know Dre Majesty, but that is like, easily a headline worthy battle those motherfuckers are those are like two of the front runners in the crucible they're crazy so when i saw that i was like oh good for me like i don't want to battle either of those motherfuckers let, i'll let yeah. one of you get the other motherfucker out because those are two scary individuals bro but nah yeah it's, it's some fun shit yeah well we heard that the price is 10k but we also heard that another stipulation is to be the face <laughs> of the trenches. Yeah, so I was I was gonna say that like I didn't know if like anyone had said that yet. I didn't want to be the first, but that's basically the way it was put. They were like, oh, 10k, and you become the face of the trenches. Hey, listen, I just want twenty thousand bags of chips, bro. That's all <laughs> I'm in it for. If I could bring that back to the hood, right. it's a victory, bro. I think that whole face thing is cool, but it's more organic. Like I don't even, you know what I mean? Like uh. Whatever happens, happens. But that 20,000 bags of chips, mm. that ain't going nowhere. That well, ain't let me going give you nowhere. some pushback on that. You want 20,000 bag of chips, but it's people in the tournament that don't know how they rent going to get paid next month. They hungry, hungry. I got what you. about them? You ready for them? I got you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get 10,000 Arizonas instead. And what we'll do <laughs> is we'll set up a table and sell them for 125. <laughs> the extra money we'll make, we'll make a killing. That's a quarter. Right. That's a yo. Matter of fact, a lot less. Sell them eight. Trust me. All right. Well, I'm gonna come down there and I'm with my cigarettes and I'm gonna sell Lucy's. Two dollars a Lucy. Two dollars a Lucy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you I'm gonna pull up Chinese and sell them for one dollar. You trying to bleed the hood? Two dollars a Lucy. You want this Lucy that's right here in front of you? That's some. Yeah, that's facts though. That is some hustling <laughs> shit. But that's some. That's some Philly shit. Damn. I used to do that Lucy. shit back in the day when I was a young buck. Used to be a quarter. Like $2. I used to sell them for a dollar fifty. Oh, that's not who the you know what the thing about that is who the fuck got two quarters on them? Motherfuckers we might got we, a dollar. We be in the uh, bar and you know the jukebox. I don't know. I'm Pull old. up with my own bogeys when I'm chilling with you is what I'm getting from this conversation. Oh, fucking right, fucking right. Motherfuckers gonna go broke. <laughs> nah, but yeah. One. A lot of people are hungry for that prize. It's a dope <laughs> prize, especially for a smaller uh, league coming up. I mean, trenches isn't like a smallie, but it's coming up for a lot of people. Yes. It's a yes. dope prize. It's enough to make a lot of people just super hungry right now. Right. No, nah, fact. So do you feel any pressure about the tournament? Do you feel any pressure going into the tournament? No. Because can you remember you tried it? What did you say? How we how we came across when you saw him on? Whose platform was he that you saw him on? Oh, yeah, when you so, oh, angry fan, angry, angry fan, fan. you came across real fan. cool, calm, and collective. I like yeah, it. Nah. Nah, no, no pressure. Talking shit. Yeah, man, I was hungry. I just was eating. <laughs> I was just hungry. They were, they were thinking it was like a sign of disrespect. I was just hungry. I was really trying to show him he don't know about that life. The pizza with the 17 toppings, bro. Mm. I could really just do shit like that, bro. I could eat pizza with 17 toppings and then still win the battle you know what i mean but mm. not nah, real shit it's no pressure i feel like at this point like mm. uh you just gotta have fun or there's really no point so just mm -hmm. go try to have fun whatever happens happens this yo this battle rap game is so weird you could have the performance of your life right and this dude who has been trash every single battle can come out with a button just win any given sunday type shit so mm -hmm. you might as well just go in have fun and, and see what happens yeah, facts, facts, facts. So, do you see anyone in that's in the tournament that could give you a problem? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. There's, there's motherfuckers in there. I said Jay Moore, Dre Majesty. I think Muab's nice. I think Prezi's nice. I think Diesel's nice. I think a lot of people are sleeping on him. Right. Um, I think my opponent's nice. I think OG Capri's nice. Uh, 
there's some people I haven't seen. I think Cavs nice. Like there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of people in that tournament. You can't can't sleep on any of them. All right, all right. So, do you, are you able to let us know any of your opponent's weaknesses? What do you think his weaknesses are? Uh what do I think his weaknesses are? That's a tough question, man. Because I feel like I really just look at every opponent the same way. Like I feel right. like I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like me just being me is such like a weird. I don't want to say weakness, but a weird thing. Right. In in uh in some battles already with the Jesus stuff already, that right. I feel like all my opponents have an immediate, like if there were health bars, mine would already be halfway down. You have an immediate advantage. Right. So for me, I just look at it all the same. Like you don't have any weakness that I do, which is why I'm more hungry and which is why you should win, but why I'm hungry and I'm just, a hungrier lion is, uh, is more dangerous on the hunt. Yeah, yeah. So you see how you can't, you come across cool, calm and collective. Do you think people may be sleeping on you then because of that? Yeah, but I feel like, again, I feel like that that's going to happen regardless. Not because I'm cool, calm, maybe because I'm cool, calm, and collective, but I feel, that's why my name's Z. Just people be sleeping on, you know sleeping. what I mean? Like, ah, it's, see it there? It's yeah. a, like, look, this guy is, this guy is from, um, from Philly, OG Capri. He was like, I'm the underdog. I was like, how are you an underdog? I'm literally coming to your town. Yeah. To battle you when the when they announced the battle in the room, people were like, "Let's go!" It felt like a bunch of people like rooting for their friend, yeah, like right. you know what I mean? Like right. you know when your friend is like trying to win a match, you're like yo, come on. So like I mean, it's the it's the same. So no, that's for sure. You're definitely an outsider going into their territory. You know what I mean? So yeah, yes. uh, yeah so you have to come in there and snatch the win. They ain't gonna give it to you. You have to grab that shit. Oh uh, no, yeah. This, this is, I told you, I'm prepping for round two. OG Capri, like, I, t I, I hate he had to be the one because I really fuck with him. He's a cool dude, but right. yeah, he ain't fucking with me. Like, it, it's good. It's round two. Round two. There's levels to this shit, man. Right, right. So, uh, allegedly, there's a possibility there may be seven judges for the tournament. So, what's your thoughts on there being seven judges? Hey, I don't, I, I've said this. I, I don't give a fuck who the judge are. You could let OG Capri be the judge. His <laughs> ass whooping gonna be so clear that motherfuckers gonna be like, Z, I don't give a fuck who the judges are. I've said that. Bro, you could let his best friends judge. I don't care. It's gonna be so clear that even if you somehow cheated, it, it's gonna come out on the net and then people are gonna be like, this is the most unvalidated league. This is, you know what I mean? So right. I don't give a fuck who the judges are. I said that to everybody. Like, yeah, I trust and, anybody. I trust the league owners with the decision. Judges can be whoever. Yeah, and obviously you're not bothered about how many judges. You're not bothered no. about how many. No, a hundred really. judges. There could be just. It could be just one motherfucker. It could be just OG Capri after the battle, <laughs> and they'll be like, "Yo, how you feel, OG?" And he'll be like, "He got, got it. He got like, it. You yeah, can't bro. deny the undeniable." Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like I don't care. I don't care how many. <laughs> Nah, I like that, my guy. I like that. I like that. So, where do you see yourself in battle rap in the next two years? Having fun. That's my goal. My my ultimate goal was always summer madness. I feel like a lot of people get lost in everything within battle rap. My ultimate goal is having fun. That's what I'm focusing on. Two years is a long time. It's a long time, bro. Right. Like you do a lot in two years. There's more shit I want to do outside of battle rap, but as far as inside of battle rap, right. All I'm focusing on is having fun. Yeah, so you say you've been on Summer Madness. What what year was that? Um, damn, I don't know if I remember the year. Was it 2021? I think it was the one where Sue served battle JC. I think that was Summer Madness 12. Okay, I think it was 2021. So, what did so you battled on the card? Yeah, who did you battle? Me and Saflair Soul opened it up. Opened yeah, it I remember. Up, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, how, how did that battle go for you? Um, I learned a lot from it. I think I did well enough to even in the even in the face off when Easy talks about it, he talks about like uh like how I did well and like kind of shut the building down at first. I think I I've talked about this on uh Black Compass. I think I essentially dragged around a little too long. Right. Learned a lot. So Flair, you know, he went off crazy. 
But for me, it was just another fun thing to do. Like, uh, again, I don't really be trying to take any of this shit too seriously. Like, I know there's people who are like, yo, this is, this is every, I, that's just not who I am. I'm not saying it's not important to me because I've dedicated however many years of my life to this. My page is all about it. I'm saying that my relationship with it is a less serious, more fun one. So for me, right. some of it was a dope experience that I could even say, you know, yes, I mean? yes, no, hit up easy. Be like, yo, you need someone who's a, yo, I could be in a room full of battle rappers. Be like, raise your hand. If you was on summer madness, no madness I yeah. bet you I'm the only one. Where like, so, yes. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. One time. No, that's lit. That's lit. That's lit. So after the trenches, is there anyone in particular you would like to battle this year? Oh, uh, anyone in particular? I don't think so. You know what? I, and this is just some personal shit. My boy Chunk, I would like okay. to match him. He was my first battle on iBattle. Uh, and that's my homie for real. I would like to have just like a all bars, like for real, just bar fest. Three rounds. We went one round. Three bars with my homie Chunk. Okay, that's so the only bar I, battle I could think of that maybe I would like uh, personally want. I can't really think of, of any others off the top of my head. Right, right. So how did that battle go for you then? Oh, that was dope. That was my first battle at I battle. It, it was hella fun. I think I took it, of course. Took, okay, okay. I Bias. think I, I okay. think I was fat. Like it was a, okay. it was a, me and him argue about that to this day. But um, <laughs> but that that was a great battle. It started my run there. Yeah, man. Fun yeah, time. Well, yeah. Why well, now? I understand then it, why it warrants then a, a rematch if you guys are still arguing about it to this day. So that's for sure. So yeah, yeah like it's it, like when you play your brother in 2K or some shit. And right. I mean, there's a definitive winner in that. But in the scenario that there wasn't, you want to just play that shit again. Got to get the rematch in. Right, right, right. Now that's fact. That's fact. Now, Z, did you drop out? Salute to you. I appreciate you pulling up. We're gonna hey, I appreciate you. It's late as fuck over there. I, I didn't know this was going to be some British shit. This is lit. Yeah, nah, man, sweet. So, like you said, after after your first round, then feel free to pull back up and let's recap it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, round two, round two. Well, I will up be again. there yeah. at the event. I definitely want to meet you. Oh, so I'm glad we did this too, so you could cheer for me. Yeah. Look, I need you to. I need you to just. <laughs> I got Stand you, there bro. quiet and solemn while OG Capri rap. <laughs> as soon as I say I said yo, it, we shutting the building now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. It's all gas. All yeah, gas. Yeah. I'm, all with, right. I'm with all the bias shit. I don't care. <laughs> right, right. Now that's good. That's like I said, we will be tuning in. We, we will be supporting you, my guy, rooting for you. So good luck. You know what I'm saying? And we, and we appreciate you pulling up. All right, my guy? Hell yeah, fun times, man. All right, salute, salute, salute my guys, salute. There you have it, guys. That's Z, the drop out. You get me, aka Jesus. You know what I'm saying? I hope you guys enjoyed the interview. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And guys, the 23rd of March, Gulag Volume 2. I promise you, you're not going to want to miss it. The card is fire. You're not going to be disappointed about who's battling. And trust me, strictly business. We don't chase clout. It's strictly business we're about. And we're out. Salute. Salute.
juice. So baby girl, show me what you can do. So wine for me, wine for me. My girl, take time for me, time for me.